Let's take a look at question number four. We're going to solve this using the variable approach method. Here's the original condition. Now, what we can do is change the original condition according to the variable approach. j plus t is equal to 10,000, which means that j times x over 100 plus t times y over 100 is equal to 600, because that's the interest. There are four variables, j, t, x, and y. And there are two equations given to us right now here. Since we need the same number of equations, we need two more equations to solve this. And this makes C the likely answer, because condition 1 and condition 2 each gives us an equation. Well, let's see if that's the case by looking at conditions 1 and 2 together. First of all, J times X over 100 is equal to K, and T times 8 over 100 is equal to 4K, because it's a 1 to 4 ratio. K plus 4K is therefore 600, and 5K is equal to 600, meaning that K is equal to 120. We substitute that in there, and what we get is 480 for T times 8 over 100. And then we get 8s cancelling out on both sides. And what we get for t is 6,000. And since j plus t is 10,000, this gives us j plus 6,000 equals to 10,000, meaning that j is equal to 4,000. What do you get when you put that in? We have 4,000 times x over 100 equals to k, which is 120. And these guys cancel out the two zeros. X is therefore equal to 3 and is sufficient. C is going to be our answer. Remember, this is the variable approach method, the most recognized and efficient way of solving GMAT math problems.